Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for probably what I consider one of the ugliest looking Transformers that's came out so far this year. Studio Series 86 Blur. I mean, he's not a bad figure. I just absolutely hate the face sculpt. SS86 Blur's face looks less like the G1 cartoon version and more like General Tarkin, but that's a whole nother story. The decals in this set include four decal sheets, one on foil, and three on vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Blur, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Blur really doesn't look that bad, aside from the face sculpt. He only has three primary colors, dark blue, light blue, and white. But taking a closer look at the figure, you do see some yellow right there on the forehead, some red for the Autobot logo on the chest, and there is a clear translucent chest piece right here. That is the windshield in vehicle mode. That really doesn't look that bad in robot mode, thanks to all the sculpted detailing underneath. And speaking of sculpted detailing, this figure does have a lot that is pretty consistent with the Studio Series 86 line, but still, he is just a little plain looking. So there you go, guys. Blur in robot mode before. And after. Blur's robot mode gets quite an enhancement thanks to Toy Hacks. Taking a closer look at the figure, he does get new detailing right up here on the shoulders for the thrusters. New decals right here on the chest, kind of circuitry control panel decals. He gets a brand new windshield decal to replace the clear translucent plastic and a much larger and much brighter Autobot logo. He also gets vent decals on either arm along with these little bluish chrome decals for the forearms. Moving on down to the waist, new silver decals there on either side. Down here on the knees are new silver and red decals, which are a throwback to the decals right above G1 Blur's feet. He also gets new enhanced decals right there on the shins and blue decals there on the feet. So all in all, I really like the looks of Blur's robot mode now. He's no longer so plain looking. So there you go, guys. Blur in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Blur still retains his G1 look, but he's even more plain than he was before, mainly because he loses 90% of his white. Most of the white was in robot mode. Now you just have it right there underneath that clear windshield. He does gain a new shade of blue right there on the tip of the vehicle, but still, it's just a blue, futuristic car. Still, lots of nice sculpted details all the way around. I do like the thrusters there, but that's about it. There's really not much to say about Blur's vehicle mode. I wish Hasbro at least gave him some wheels or something to roll on, but it is what it is. So there you go, guys. One final look at Blur in vehicle mode before and after. Blur's vehicle mode gets quite a few nice new details thanks to Toy Hacks. Now the first one you're probably noticing is the new pinstriping right there on the front. I really like the looks of that. I think that looks awesome. He also gets new headlights. Of course, you've got the windshield decal right there. Along the side of the vehicle, you have accents. One, two, three little accents on each side to break up all the blue. For the interior, he gets brand new leather seating right here for the back and bottom. Turn this around, 
he's got the console decals. Now here on the back, I really like these. These decals are a throwback to the original Generation 1 toy, though they're done in reverse. See how the yellow circle decals here are on the bottom, where Toy Hacks had to put them there on the top. But still, I think that is a great throwback for Generation 1. He also gets a vanity license plate black back here that says Blur. And there's those decals for the thrusters. So all in all, not a bad new look for Blur. So there you go, guys. Blur in vehicle mode after. The Toy Hex decal set for Studio Series 86 Blur is a vast improvement on the original retail toy. He looks so much better now and not so plain looking. I love the G1 decal throwbacks. Of course, I'm an old G1-er, so that's always going to appeal to me. But I think it really helps make this figure stand out now. Now, a quick word of warning. This decal set takes some patience. There are lots of tiny decals that you got to fit just right where they're supposed to go. So I highly recommend a nice set of pointy fine tip tweezers. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!